In this example, we're going to look at how to conduct a chi-square goodness of fit test uh, using StatCrunch. So here's a typical example. A person randomly selected 100 checks, recorded the sense portion of those checks. The table below lists the sense portions, right? So we had 50 checks with cents, you know, that ended in somewhere between 0 and 24 cents, and then 16 that ended between 25 and 49, and so on. We're going to use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the four categories are equally likely. That's important because that's our claim. If you click on here and open it in StatCrunch, you might have to do some augmentations, right? It always depends on how it opens. It doesn't always open perfectly. And in this case, it does. It opens just fine. We have our categories, we have the observed, right? If you want, you could even uh, rename this observed, because aren't those our observed frequencies? But then in order to run the test, you need your expected frequencies. Now, there are 100 total checks, and since we are testing the claim that all four categories are equal, you should have 25 in each category. Now this isn't always the case, it just seems to be that there are a lot of questions that we deal with that we are testing, uh, you know, an equal distribution. If they had given us some other hypothesized distribution, like we expect half of them to be in the first one and then 20% the next one and so on, then you would just do half of 100 and you'd have 50 and then 20% and you would fill in the expected values accordingly. Okay, once you have your observed and your expected, it's very simply you go to stat, goodness of fit, chi-square, the observed, you just select the column that the observed were in, I renamed it, right, and the expected. You don't have to worry about the where or the group by. Compute. There is your chi-square value. As you can see, it's the value that they wanted. Um, and then there would be your p-value for the next part. It's just that simple.